recently returned from a drawing holiday in Europe. His travels included Venice, the south of France, Paris, Ireland, and the UK. He showed his drawings to his fellow students at Life Drawing Class and talked about his adventures. I saw the Galway, Galway, that was a colour one. It was cold, it was freezing there, it flew like a gale. There was a National Science Museum in Barcelona. So what was it like drawing in Europe? Exciting, exhilarating. It was fabulous being able to try and capture an atmosphere, trying to get down on paper the feeling of the place rather than a photographic image. I enjoyed the, the freedom of being able to do it. Being on holiday, it was wonderful being able to, being able to draw every day. I enjoyed drawing there immensely. This was uh, in Paris, the Fontaine Saint Mac Saint Michel. This is really a place called Chesky Krumlov in uh, near Prague. Beautiful picturesque town. That's where what's the name Schuler did a lot of his painting, all these roof paintings he did there. They're absolutely beautiful. We were in this little a uh, hostel. It was very cheap, really cheap there. And this is the, the deck. There's a fast flowing river here. We were just up here looking out of it and they were doing a whitewater uh, rafting right round here. It's absolutely magnificent. We were there for three days. It's beautiful. Uh, things like in Venice drawing the Rialto Bridge, you've got the immediacy, you've got the atmosphere and that all uh, influences you as you draw. You're aware that you're not back in Sydney, you're aware of something which is unusual. Uh, for example, in Venice, we, you've got the water, you've got the canals, you've got all that. There's a, there's a different atmosphere, there's a different light. Mr. And skating on the lake on ice. This is my version, this was taken about eight seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer yours to Rayburn's, actually. Thank you. <laughs> the good taste. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting looking at different places. I enjoyed. I very much enjoyed drawing inside cathedrals, trying to get the feeling of the space. Trying so, to. I enjoyed drawing every day whenever the opportunity arose. I was free to do it. I didn't have the constraints of work where you have got obligations. I was just free to draw when I wanted, as I wanted, and it was fabulous. And this was in the, the Castle Museum. Be huge, beautiful room, big chandelier on top. This is uh, some of the Gaudi architecture. Quite amazing stuff there. More people around the place. We did saw some Dali things, uh, Dali Museum, so this was sort of inspired by Dali. I can't remember the name of this one. There's one of the squares in Barcelona. This is the interior of the place we're staying in, Bezier. Mm. A lovely, very beautiful wee apartment. How awesome. So why did you draw rather than taking photographs? I find taking photographs is quick, it doesn't always convey the image, but by drawing you get the atmosphere, you have the actual memory of doing the drawing, you have the memory of looking around the place, and I think a drawing will convey more than a photograph every time. The people we're staying with, he's a conductor, and this was his friend conducting the, uh, the choir. So I tried to get the movement, I tried to get them doing everything all at once. Well, this uh, is your Picasso, is it? That's mine. Well, she sort of turned around and noticed I was drawing. But this is in Bezier. 
the railway stains like you can imagine a terrace house uh, stood on end. He's got two apartments which just go straight up to the up to the skies, and you've got a circular staircase. This is uh, St Jack's Cathedral in Bezier. This is the interior of the cathedral. I couldn't do it accurately, so I took elements of it and sort of put it all together into this work. Why do you draw? I draw because I can draw, because I enjoy the experience of seeing what accidental marks happen on the page, how I can change it. I don't have a end plan when I'm drawing, but I enjoy the creative process, the, the randomness of it, and perhaps the discipline of it as well. So you've been an artist for many years. When did you first start drawing? I think I've always been drawing. I was drawing in primary school, or through school, after school, during school. I didn't really start drawing conscientiously till I was about 23, 24. That's when I decided this is fun and I'm going to work at it rather than just do it. So I would say from about 24 on I really started drawing. So why do you draw the model? I'm exploring what I see in front of me and trying to convey the image or play with the image basically. I don't try and photographically produce the model. I just enjoy creating an effect, drawing with either charcoal or pen or whatever's at hand. I just enjoy the, enjoy the process. <laughs> Tony studio is that studio is absolutely fantastic. There's a terrific atmosphere here and it is great fun drawing with other artists. <laughs>